Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of October 1st, 2017. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Happy October to everybody out there, and what a week it is. We've got an active sky, a hopeful sky, a recovering sky, a transformative sky, and I'm so excited about it. Before I jump in, remember last week, right? Last week was tough for a lot of people out there. September overall had some pretty tough celestial conversations taking place. Well, now here we are. What last week felt confusing or where it was we had to look at our fears, what felt like mixed messages or uncertainty. Now those very areas of life transform into pure and absolute power. And that is because Venus and Mars will both speak in supreme harmony with Pluto and then meet in the sky. So these conversations, these planets will be having with Pluto. I am so excited about this because last week it was Venus and Mars standing across Neptune. So that's really elusive. That is very confusing. And that can be a little bit draining as well for some people out there. But with Pluto coming in in supreme harmony, what this says is power. It says transformation and it says empowerment. We will feel like we are in the flow of life, like we're able to take what happened and now actually change it for the better, for the better in our lives and for the better in ourselves as well. So this is the power to understand where action can have the best and greatest outcomes, to understand and get to the truth of a matter so that we can transform it from the inside out. Now, this is going to speak especially strong to matters of our own energy and how we're using our own energy. Are we coming from a place of self-knowledge and then working outwards from that place of inner truth or not? So there's this sense of decision now, whereas last week we might not have known what we wanted. We might have had some fear propping up, but now it is more about being connected to that truth of who we are and acting from that place and the truth of our heart and what our heart knows we deserve and acting from that place. But of course, these two planets are gonna get together and Pluto adding intensity. This is just sexy, let me just say. This is very, uh, very attractive, very romantic, but also just really sexy on a very intense level. So a lot of us out there are going to be craving romantic experiences, going to be wanting to connect with other people, whether in established bonds or if we're open to meeting someone new. This is very powerful energy for very faded attractions that leave a positive, which is really, really great, that have a pleasant uh, impact, that have a way of speaking to us uh, in a way that changes us in an easier way. Love can always change us. Attraction is a powerful energy that is a force of transformation, but sometimes it happens in ways that are a little bit uncomfortable, and sometimes that transformation happens in ways that are uh, feeling like they lift us and they move us within ourselves to understand ourselves that much, much more deeply. And that is what this guy is promising now. So absolutely embrace it if you're feeling very drawn to a particular situation. Know that there is a lesson there and know that part of that lesson may be to return you to the love that you know you deserve. So that may very well be part of this, but a lot of us are gonna be wanting to have romantic experiences, wanting to connect with other people, especially on a one-on-one -on -one level. And I gotta say, cause we're all grown ups here on a physical level as well. There may be that desire and a lot of fulfilled desire as well. And we've got this full moon, right? That full moon is going to support this Venus and this Mars, we've got a beautiful full moon playing out in the sign of Aries. Now this full moon is happening kind of close to Uranus, but also speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn, essentially in its own way activating uh, the dance that Uranus and Saturn have been having since late last year. We have got another peak moment coming up in that dance before these two planets uh, move on for just a little bit. They're actually going to reach another peak moment in 2018. So we're living in very exciting times. But what this essentially says is Uranus and Saturn are representing breakthroughs and progress in our own lives that last. 
changes that awaken us that leave a lasting and positive effect in our life while this moon is going to be activating some of that energy in powerful ways so there's a lot of luck around this full moon i gotta say now i know it said i had a lovely interaction with someone on facebook who was saying we create our own luck yes we do with our willingness with our openness to allowing spontaneous change and spontaneous information to find us absolutely we participate in the way that luck unfolds in our life but this is just lucky i gotta say and this is lucky also where it comes to awakening especially on a body level on a physical level where it comes to awakening on a mind level as well on a level of knowing where our power is and where it isn't and being empowered by that knowledge and that's a big theme overall this week it is knowing where it is that we have agency and focusing on that to create positive change in our life where it is that we desire it and where it is that we can have an effect on where we want change to take place so this particular full moon is going to help bring emotion to the surface it's going to bring desire to the surface a passion for new life or new life experiences to the surface and work really well with this meeting of Venus and Mars as well. What I love about this week is that there is so much going on, but knowing that there's so much more to come. We are starting off October with energy that says that we can change our lives and we can change the world for the better. And at the same time, we know that the best is just up ahead. Because remember, next week is when Jupiter changes signs. It's very exciting. So it's the last full week of Jupiter moving through the sign of Libra for another 12 years or so. So enjoy it now because know that this is the moment where we get to reap some of the best that Jupiter has to offer and has been offering over the last year in a particular area of life knowing that greater blessings are to come. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'm so grateful for it. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, thumbs up. It means so much. I am very excited about Jupiter moving into the sign of Scorpio next week. Jupiter specials. Well, there is a Jupiter overview horoscope that is available on my YouTube channel, and I hope that you'll check it out as part of anticipating these wonderful changes coming up ahead. Jupiter specials for your sign are available in the superstar space as well as video scopes for the week ahead looking at all this wonderful stuff I talked about I touched on it for each and every sign and you can find that at NadiaShaw.com or astrofabulous.com the first minute of the Jupiter specials are available on my Instagram which is Instagram at Nadia underscore Shaw and very soon I'll be posting the previews there of the Saturn specials as well Saturn at the end of the year is going to change signs and is going to represent a shift in our understanding of where our most important lessons are for all of us. And the first minute will be on Instagram uh, soon, shortly, if not already. And, uh, and the Saturn specials for your sign are available right now in the Superstar space as well. So I hope that you will check that out. I'm gonna be in Vancouver very soon. I'm so excited. Can't wait to hug my Vancouver peeps. Can't wait to meet friends and fans out there. I will be hosted by the Fraser Valley Astrology Guild. And I'm doing two, uh, one talk, one workshop with them. One talk is taking place on the 12th in the evening, and it is called From Fate to Free Will, A Fast and Furious History of Astrology. We're going to have a lot of fun together going over that. And on Saturday, the 14th, I will be doing a workshop called Chemistrology, The Astrology of Instant Attraction. So I think we're going to have a lot of fun together. So I hope that you'll check that out. There should be links in the description uh, to get your tickets as well. So I look forward to meeting you there for consultations. I have just like one or two spots left. I was doing a, I am doing a limited number of consultations while in Vancouver. So uh, I could squeeze in two, but really one uh, spot is left. So if you are interested in a personal consultation, sitting down with me one-on-one, -on -one, and having me look at your chart and answer your questions, I would love to do that. And you can uh, email me, send me a message, go to the contact form on my website, NadiaShaw.com and uh, fill that out. Let me know and we can make that happen. 
I thank you so much for being here. I'm truly so grateful for this moment with you. I'm in Cancun now. It's been raining a lot. My hair, there's so much humidity in Cancun. My hair will not stay straight to save my life in Cancun, but that's okay. It is part of the, the magic and the beauty of this place and very grateful to be here. Next week's video will be filmed in Canada. I'll be, for next week, I'll be visiting my parents coming up later this in the middle of the week and then i'll head to vancouver so you'll see me like you know moving around as usual in the coming weeks ahead and i'm just so grateful for this moment with you and to uh, share your sacred journey with me it does mean so much i look forward to keeping in contact keeping in connection and again the superstar space all kinds of video scopes are up there right now at nadiashaw.com astrofabulous.com and if you can't make it out to vancouver you can check out uh, the Fast and Furious History of Astrology from Fate to Free Will on YouTube. That talk is posted on YouTube because that's like one of my signature talks. I do that talk quite a bit at different events. So I hope you'll check that out. It covers like a lot of the stuff that's covered in the first chapter of my book, Astrology Realized, is what we go over in that talk. And Chemistrology, you can go to synchronicityuniversity.com. I did a webinar called Chemistrology, which is a shorter version of what that workshop is going to be. And you can download that at synchronicityuniversity.com. Thank you so much again. Very happy October to everybody out there. Enjoy this last burst of Jupiter in the sign of Libra. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.